Hello, good evening, everyone. Let me see who all do we have on Facebook. So, hi, Rublin. Hi, Nilima. Hi, Anita. Padmaja, Farina, Sunita. Welcome, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Hi, Dina. Welcome to second season, episode two, Knowledge Happy Hour. We have a lot of people joining in, so I'll just give a little bit more, few seconds so that everyone can join in. Shraddha, are you there? A lot of people are already here to see you. There you are. <laughs> Hi, Sonia. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, really excited and um, too much fun filled. So waiting for it. Yes, we are too. And uh, I know the excitement has been on the roof, <laughs> yes. uh, over the roof actually <laughs> since morning. Yes. Um, yeah, and everyone has been giving really exciting uh, reactions to it. So yes. we are hoping for a really great <laughs> session. Um, we have already a lot of people joining us. Uh, people are saying hi to you, Shraddha. So, Renuka is here, Jerusha. Hi, Jerusha. Rohan, um, Rachna, Prasad. A lot of people have joined. Shilpa has joined us. Uh, Rina is saying hi, Shraddha, ma'am, with a lot of hearts. Hi. To <laughs> Thank you. So, yes, um, I think uh, we will begin because we have a lot of things to discuss. I believe and you have a lot of tips to share with us so i'm going to welcome everyone welcome to season two knowledge happy hour episode two and today we have yes. with us uh shraddha shraddha mahajan shraddha mahajan is actually a certified image consultant she's a proud alumni of indian school of image management and a little bit more about shraddha is that she has got 10 years of experience in customer service she has worked in hospitality sector with Tunga and Marriott Hotel and was also part of the Jet Airways team. She was in the cabin crew in Jet Airways. She worked in Maple Apple's authorized service provider and uh, she is also part of Indian School of Image Management and a certified image consultant. So very proud to have you here today, Shraddha. And uh, today's topic is something that comes in, you know, uh, from your own personal experience, I believe. Uh, which is how to be a smart traveler. So I am really <laughs> excited actually to hear, you know, more about how to, how can one or, and all of us can become a little smart traveler. So over to you, Shraddha, and uh, waiting to hear what you have. Sure. So I'll just share my screen and then I will sure. just start with sure. my presentation. Sure, go ahead. Okay, right. So uh, <laughs> I'm loving the first screen already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say thank you to Sonia for uh, giving such a beautiful introduction of me. I think I have started loving myself more after listening such good things about myself, uh, which you made me realize in such a good uh, introduction. So thank you really for that. And uh, also for uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, create, take a session on a virtual platform, which is the new normal. So yes, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, to the audience, uh, I have been getting a uh, messages that they are looking forward for the presentation and they are waiting and it uh, they have a lot of expectations so uh, i am i was really excited uh, to see that uh, i am getting so much of support from my team and from my friends and uh, from my family so i am going to give you a fun filled experience in this uh, session and uh, please take down a book a pen and your phone and of course on your phone should be me only like nothing else no other work so definitely let's uh, start with the presentation and um, let's see how many things are you going to jot down and use for yourself or when you are traveling further 
right okay so uh, about the picture i i love i fell in love with the picture for two things one is because i see mother earth uh, in who is looking so serene so healthy uh, beautiful pretty you know and the second thing which caught my eye is all the monuments which uh, take me back to the desert nation where i have been or maybe where i want to be uh, like paris london um, italy uh, rome uh, egypt uh, and of course my dream destination that go there and uh, visit australia um traveling is uh, in our blood in humans because uh, we have traveled yeah. from i'll just interrupt you to one humans so you know we have traveled era so i think just traveling destination is just a pata piece I'll of i'll just walk. going to interrupt you one moment uh, there is a little like your voice is breaking up a little bit so maybe try switching on your uh, switching off your camera um and then um, continue with the presentation so that it is little audible it's breaking right now can you hear me I believe Shraddha is experiencing some um, travel. Oh, sorry, not travel issue, <laughs> technical issues. Uh, we'll just give her a minute to come back. She is fixing the problem at her end, so she'll be there soon and share with you all the amazing things about traveling. Meanwhile, I want you all to take your. You are all watching the feed right now. so in the comment section meanwhile shraddha is coming back just put in quickly um your favorite destination i want to know from each one of you which is your favorite destination so put in your favorite place right now in the comment section i want to see who wants to go where and she's back <laughs> so shraddha i think there was a technical issue did i get lost somewhere yeah okay. means your voice was okay. breaking so try one thing try switching off your um, you know a uh, camera and then just okay. uh, keep your slide so that would help you in just you know uh, okay yeah okay. so i'll just try starting it again yes okay so am i audible now yeah much better go ahead okay right so i'll just start again uh well okay so i selected uh, this picture for two things one is uh, because of uh, mother earth uh, she is looking serene healthy uh, pretty beautiful everything and the second thing which caught my attention is uh, all the monuments uh, which take me back to the destinations where i have been or maybe where i want to be uh, like paris uh, london italy rome Uh, india where i belong of course and uh, australia that's my dream destination and i am definitely looking forward to go to australia uh, near time soon in future uh, i um, if you say about uh, traveling i am uh, really not uh, scared that you know will i be able to travel or will i not be able to travel because i believe traveling is in our blood we have traveled eras from being apes to humans so all thanks to our ancestors that they didn't give up and say that okay oh no i'm really contented i don't want to grow you know so thanks to them and we have to take forward the legacy so uh, yes we will travel soon and uh, that that is the one thing which will never stop because we have our future generations who are going to travel too um yes right so um near future uh, a few months down the line or maybe next year i i will definitely plan a destination so when the moment comes that yes yo it is time to travel you know and uh, you are all ready to go but uh, you know uh, wh what we are doing today is maybe not a better version of uh, traveling smart so first let's learn about uh, how to travel smart you know or how to be a smart traveler 
So uh, there are just few tips and uh, tricks that you need to uh, keep in mind when you're traveling. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, take a notebook and a pen and jot down as many points as you can, because I'm sure it is, uh, you're going to get something more extra than what you already know. So let's move ahead. Uh, peace, a state of peace, which uh, currently I'm trying to achieve uh, by keeping control over myself and, and uh, understanding uh, or, you know, knowing exactly uh, what to do and what not to do. So uh, why uh, have I related a peace of mind to travel? Because the first thing which uh, come to my mind when I think of traveling and it is because of experience, which I will definitely share why have I given this particular point number one, is because to think about travel insurance. Now it comes from the family. Uh, well, I'm really glad that my aunt is not attending this session and I can go ahead and tell the story. Why did I give this uh, particular point the first uh, level, you know? Uh, well, so my sister got married and uh, moved to USA and my aunt was supposed to visit the daughter for the first time, have never been in plane. So she had all kind of mixed feelings of, you know, how to go, language barrier, do not know, uh, not well versed with uh, English and uh, never sat in a plane. So of course, half of the world is scared to for the takeoff and landings. And, uh, you know, we all have that feeling that, oh my God, what happens if I do not land? So yes, she was all in the mixed emotion. We um, gave her all the knowledge that we had and we calmed her down. We gave her everything. We actually made a tip for her, you know, uh, like, okay, tip number one, two, three, four. And she thought that, okay, uh, this is the worst that she is looking forward to. So, okay, boarded the plane took off, the flight was smooth, landed, and oh my god, the worst is over. Uh, well, when the point to think the worst is over is when you have to expect the worst to happen, I believe. Uh, because uh, she was just walking towards the conveyor belt and uh, pick her bag, she just bumped into something and she fell. Now, falling down to them is a problem, and especially when you are in foreign land. Definitely my concern is that. So the first thing when we uh, came to know about you know, what now, what's next. So if I look to my father and I do think, are we looking for the amount that she's going to pay, you know, because she is just a tourist there, you know, she's not a resident and anything. So, you know, Indian parents, Parents, they communicate more with their expressions. So, yes, I got the expressions and I got my answer and I'm very much, so yes, so that is the reason why travel in peace. You no, know, you travel, you go to the destination where you want to be, complete whatever work you have until the time you come back, you need to have this peace of mind. Okay, I am in one piece and luckily I'm back home. So definitely my... Point number one is you have to think about travel insurance uh, if you're traveling on your own. Let's go next. What is the next thing? Bag. Okay. If I take off the stickers and if I just look at the back, the one thing that, um, the one person that uh, come to my mind is uh, that, uh, uh, no, I just think about Kajol from DDLJ because she carries the same bag. The only thing is that it is a movie. Uh, she's running and it's an empty bag. And of course, her trophy is getting Shah Rukh Khan, you know. So yes, why wouldn't she do it? And she must have that, she must have done that shot in many but hello, come back. This is our life, you know, a real life. I cannot imagine to, you know, I definitely, the only feeling which I get when I look at this particular bag is pain. My body is paining and, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's just uh, terrible. So yes, as they say, it's all in the bag.
Uh, Shoda, you there? <clears throat> I think these days everyone is going through a lot of technical issue. I was so engrossed uh, in I, the I, story. Yes, sorry. Just give me a minute. I think the slide was stuck. So, uh, Shraddha, your voice is like really breaking. Um, even right now. Sorry, just give me a minute. I'll just have a uh, check and I'll be. Sure. Please, yeah. Maybe you want to put all your devices at home off Wi-Fi so you will get a better bandwidth. Try that. We all are waiting for you. Not going anywhere. <laughs> so meanwhile, I got so many options over here. We got Jaipur. Okay. Reena said a place where it is a gender equal world. Very nice, Reena. <laughs> Norway, Japan, Paris, Milan, New York. Sunita, I'm not going to read your list. It's too big. <laughs> Pretty much everywhere. I'm with, coming with you. Uh, Jerusha is also going to um, Australia. Wonderful. Renuka is going to Deirpur, Rani Khet, Rome. Okay, <laughs> that's beautiful. Where else? Azerbaijan. Nice. That's a really nice place. Nice. I also want to go there. Anybody else? Northeast, yes, Northeast is really beautiful too. I want to go to uh, Mongolia <laughs> and uh, even Machu Picchu. I don't know how many of you want to go there, but I want to trek to Machu Picchu. Maybe that will be my question to Shraddha once she comes back and finish her training. That uh, what are your tips to <laughs> basically trek to all Sorry, these places? Yes, Sorry, Shraddha. So is is my am i audible now much better loud okay <laughs> okay i still keep my video off yes please I, do just, uh, just keep all your devices uh, on your home start. off the wi-fi yes please go ahead do you know with the presentation okay right. Uh, Sonia, is, is my presentation uh, visible yes, it properly? Is. Yes, it is. Okay. The okay. voice is right. still so, little uh, cracking, but uh, it's better than what was earlier. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. So, uh, uh, maybe I'll just uh, start over <laughs> with the bag and Kajol and EDLG. If I have missed on that part, I'm not yes. sure. Was I already? Okay. So, so oh, uh, 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 when I look at the bag, the only one person who comes to my mind is Kajol of DDLJ. Uh, well, for her, it was a movie. And, uh, it was a uh, Uh, Shraddha, uh, Shraddha, I need to interrupt uh, again. She did it um, in too many uh, Shraddha, need to interrupt many again. Cuts. Sorry, your voice is again breaking a lot. There are a lot of issues. Um, we can't hear you. Uh, do one thing. And audiences, I know this is uh, there is a little bit yeah. of much happening. But uh, please just stay with us. We are trying to resolve this problem so you can have a great session. Uh, Shraddha, if you can just take a moment, stop sharing your screen and yes. email your presentation to me immediately yes. so I can do it. Sonia. Just stop sharing your screen. Stop sharing the screen, uh, Shraddha. Okay. Yeah, and why don't you email me your uh, PowerPoint? And I will run the PowerPoint for you so that you are not using that much of bandwidth. Okay? Are you listening to me? Shada, you heard me, I hope. Connection went off completely, so I couldn't hear. 
I'm saying that just um, email me your PowerPoint so that I can run your PowerPoint from my end. And you can just keep telling me next slide. So I'll change the slide for you. You just need to keep talking. Okay. So just take a moment and I will talk to the audiences in the meanwhile. So take a moment, please email me your PowerPoint. Okay. Go ahead now. Hello. We are having a technical uh, <laughs> problem over here. Anybody who wants to share their travel blunder story? <laughs> I know it will be too much to type in the comment section, but yeah. One like in short form, if you want to say my baggage got lost or I lost my passport. I know someone who actually, you know, left their passport when they were traveling abroad in a restaurant or a bar or something. So yeah, your travel blunder. In the comment section, please go ahead and write that till we are resolving the issue. <laughs> Shraddha, I hope you are still here. You could hear me. Yes, we are having technical problems. Audience, please stay with us. Shraddha has created a really beautiful presentation for all of you. Um, we are facing a little difficulty, but she will be back soon. We are trying to fix it for all of you to have a great experience. So, yeah, you have been all a very patient audience till now. So just a little bit more patience. Thank you. And meanwhile, please share your travel story. Rohan, sleeping on the floor during an 18-hour stopover at Istanbul because I missed my flight. Wow. Okay. That must be some interesting story, Rohan. <laughs> I remember I was stuck at Munich um, airport for because of a layover for 16 hours and that's not one of the best airport I would say. So yeah, it was not a great experience. Shilpa, I have one you know about this, left cash in Mumbai, reached Prague with no cash. <laughs> I know that story. <laughs> that's an interesting one. Thanks to that you're part of the tribe Shilpa. I am really happy that happened. So. Yes, <laughs> that was one interesting story. <clears throat> Ashwin would like to go to the moon. Wonderful, Ashwin. <laughs> All do dollars stolen in Paris. Damn. Okay. Paris, yes, people say that you've got to be a little careful over there. So we will ask Shraddha how to keep your cash safe. Um, when you are in your traveling. I also missed flight in Istanbul. So Istanbul is one place people miss their flights. I'm getting the hang of that now. <laughs> okay, Rina. Oh, yes. When I was a child, I went to another compartment and train and my mom was crying a lot. Simran, <laughs> luckily my husband had some contacts. We were with Thomas Cook traveling with we got some cash, otherwise we were in total mess. But yes, I think travel insurance and what Shraddha was about to talk uh, about all these situations would really you know, come in handy when um, such situation happens. Um, missed my flight in a very critical situation due to entering wrong pin code online by the... Oh dear Lord. Okay, that doesn't sound very nice. My mom's cards were almost stolen in Paris. Paris is one place everybody got to be careful. And due to heavy snowfall, missed the flight. Yes. 
I don't have a travel blunder. I am known to catch uh, flights at the last moment. So uh, people almost think that it will be a travel blunder, but I've not missed. I think I've only missed one flight and that was my mistake. So, um, travel blunder. Tina. This happened at Detroit Airport. Lost my laptop in Istanbul and found back after visiting police station here. Istanbul has some real interesting stories. I'm loving what is coming for Istanbul. I have one, yes. We booked a flight from Venice to Paris. And then we, we did all our check-in and everything else. And at the counter, um, we were stopped. And then suddenly the staff says, oh, you don't have a seat on the flight. And I think for one hour, we were just sitting there confused at what happened. And then suddenly after half an hour, they came back and they said to Ashwin um, that you have a seat, but uh, I don't have a seat. And then he was uh, they were sending him on one like on that plane and I was supposed to stay back in Venice. I don't mind, but yeah, <laughs> that happened. And after half an hour, I don't know what was going on on that day. So half an hour later, they said, oh, we found a seat for both of you. So you are going. But that one hour was pretty crazy because we took a flight at 7 a.m. in the morning. So yeah, and I was in you know that zone. I was still sleepy and my sleep just, I lost it. <laughs> So yeah, that's my travel blunder story. And I'm going to get the presentation from Shraddha now, I believe. So let's see if we can get this back. Uh, oh yes, thank you Ashwin for reminding this one. My wife was locked up at Mexico airport. I wasn't locked up. <laughs> that's an exaggeration. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a very interesting story to tell, actually. So I wasn't locked up, literally, but I was waiting in the immigration, one of the rooms for four hours because um, I landed there at 3 a.m. and their office, uh, 4 a.m. and their office opens up at 8. And for some reason in my passport, they couldn't understand, um, you know, something they didn't understand. So for four hours, they made me sit in this one room and uh, with no information. And then after a point of time, this lady came and she took my phone also because I was secretively chatting with uh, Ashwin. Ashwin actually, um, meanwhile, when he came to know, he it was, I think, really evening, like six o'clock or something in, the, in India. So he got so... Um, <laughs> Uh, worried about it that he tweeted um, and at that time now late uh, Shushma Swaraj was really active on Twitter so she would like respond immediately so he tweeted her immediately that my wife is locked <laughs> in Mexico airport um, so yeah but after four hours the officer came the translator came and he asked me one question um, yeah why are you here and I said I'm here for a ICA conference and I just showed them my paper and he said, okay, bye, you're free to go. And I was like, what? The, the interview didn't even last 30 seconds, but uh, for four hours, they kept me in that room. And those four hours, I was just so worried and so stressed out. And yeah, my husband was stressed out that I'm locked in Mexico. That's when I started learning Spanish. <laughs> So that I could, I actually learned little Spanish before going there, but it was not that great. Um, so I couldn't communicate at all. If I knew a little bit, I think I could have explained them a little bit sooner. But yeah, that didn't happen. Locked in Mexico are two words that should never go together. Yes, Rohan, that was scary. And there was one guy who was actually locked up a little bit inside. There was a proper lockup, just maybe two rooms from where I was. And he was an Indian and uh, he was locked up there. So I got pretty stressed out. But yeah, it was an interesting story. Okay, let me just take a quick check on... Uh, 
Sonia? Oh, hi, Shoda. Hi. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, uh, can I just try sharing the screen again? Maybe because I've already mailed you the uh, PPT, but I think it should work fine now. Do you Go want ahead. me to try? Sure, we can give it one more try, but I have the PPT yeah. downloaded. So if you want me to share, I can do yeah. that also. So we, okay. let's just try this first and then uh, if it works well and good. If not, then maybe we can go uh, the other way. Sure, not a problem. I can hear your uh, <laughs> voice in the background and I think you have it. Okay. Just put all your devices off Wi-Fi. That will just fix it. Okay, is it still audible now? Very good. Just right? Okay. Here. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> so maybe I just start again. <laughs> no, just start with no. travel insurance okay. because I think that's the part uh, where uh, till here right. everything was clear. Was yes. clear. Okay. So maybe I'll go to the next slide then. Yes. Right. Okay. Your DDLJ and yeah. your <laughs> yes. all of that. Yeah. So go ahead. Right. Okay. So uh, well, the um, when I look at this particular bag, the only of course removing all the stickers, the only thing which uh, or only person who comes to my mind is uh, basically Kajol of DDLJ, and uh, there is uh, the only person with this bag running on the platform. Uh, Know, and waiting for Shah Rukh Khan's hand. Of course, that was her trophy. So uh, she went ahead and uh, she used this bag. And that's the reason why I'm, I can only think of her as of now. Um, but in real life, it is not a movie. There are no cuts and uh, there is no one to hold my bag, definitely. So I'm the one who is responsible for my bag. So why should, would I take this bag? You know, The only one feeling which I can uh, think as of now when I look at the bag is pain and my entire body ache. There is no other thing which I can think of. So as they say, right, that it's all in the bag, you know, uh, so uh, we have to be updated as per the uh, modern times and uh, we have to take a bag which are the need for the day to travel. So what are the basic things that uh, I need to uh, look in a bag, you know, when I'm going for formal? So one is a hard case, definitely. Uh, of course, an extra handle, an extension handle, the main handle, the extension and of course, wheels that is the one of the major thing which i would definitely need is wheels because the kind of things i'm going to pack in my bag i need those those are my best buddies during travel uh, further going ahead we are humans we need options and uh, the uh, options which i can think of is maybe i can go for a 360 degree rotating wheel a uh, step ahead, maybe I am more into design. I may go ahead for a 3D design bag, you know. So these are just today's uh, in things which are working well. Like uh, everyone needs to have this and I'm sure uh, everyone have it in their day-to-day -day life. So let's just go a step ahead and uh, know, you know, what are we expecting in the next, uh, the generation X, what kind of bags they're going to take. So I came across one, which is a scooter suitcase. Never thought that, you know, the scooter which I used to play when I was young would actually be used to carry suitcases. Uh, never ever thought so. Yes, and here we are. This is my personal favorite, uh, a suitcase which is controlled by artificial intelligence, you know, uh, and it works on algorithms. So I just gave a thought to myself while making presentation. Why didn't I... You know, attend my maths classes properly, you know, maybe I would have learned algorithm, maybe I would be the person uh, making a suitcase with algorithms used in, the, in that. The best part of the suitcase uh, here is that, you know, it follows you, it gives you an alarm for lost luggage. What else do I need in my life? You know, the luggage himself is telling me, okay, I am lost and he's uh, grabbing my attention. This is something uh, new and which we are looking, definitely looking forward in near future. It is an electronic uh, tag system, which is currently provided by British Airways uh, to their uh, travelers, basically. How it works is that you need to uh, download the British Airways application in your phone. You just have to check in and you have to generate your own tag. So, uh, and once you generate your tag, the black uh, screen like thing or the rectangular thing which you can see, it is a screen and uh, the generated tag is basically seen on this particular uh, screen. So you just have to buckle or unbuckle. 
the smarter way to travel never thought that you know uh, technology would uh, help us with the tags you know otherwise the only thing which i can think of airports is standing in long queues for an international flight and you know waiting just for a tag so yes well uh, you can really not deny on this part that you have never ever been in this situation you know everyone in their life have been in this situation when you end up doing packing of course the wrong packing and it happens when uh, you are traveling and you all of a sudden you miss all the things which you have never ever noticed that it is there in your house and you end up packing all those things and when you actually travel and reach your destination you see oh my god what have i bought i have nothing to wear or you know why did i buy this or why did i get this i have no clue about it so let's learn about some tips and tricks about packing so first roll baby roll okay audience just do not go off track roll baby roll is nothing to do with dance or anything else that you're thinking it's all about clothes so roll your clothes and keep it in your bag and you can see the n number of clothes that you can carry with you uh, it is easy to find what you want but it's a technique end of the day so uh, you know if you're not well versed with the technique it's okay because uh, you may end up uh, you know harming your clothes so uh, and i am a person who give options so yes i have other options for you not worry if you do not know this Um, uh, pouches for uh, all the things that you want to carry. Maybe six, uh, six, uh, separate pouches. You can go ahead for vacuum bags, or if you want to go a step ahead, buy a bag who has already the pouch, who have already has pouches attached to the bag. All the way more simpler. What else can you ask for now? Okay, next. Uh, one, two, three, four rules. So, uh, yes, please do not. catch your head and said that oh my god one more rule house rules office rules school rules college rules and one more rule and that too for packing yes my dear friends you have to follow rules if you have to be on the right track but the good news is that you can turn and twist the rule as per your requirement now what is the requirement here we are looking forward to maybe it is the number of days that you are traveling or maybe the destination that you are traveling um, etc whatever whatever uh, comes to your mind you know so now i have made this 1 2 3 4 rule you can go to 1 to 6 rule or maybe 1 to 5 rule or 1 to 3 rule um keeping in uh, in mind what is your need for the travel so uh, it, hypothetically i have thought that you know i have i'm going to australia yes and uh, that is reason why i have come up with one to three four rule so let's see what it is so i'll pay i'll carry a pair of shoes bottoms and four tops see this is uh, uh, in a way i am actually limiting uh, my carry on luggage because end of the day i am the one who has to carry so why not you know at least carry stuff that you really need and you want to really use so yes so keep in mind the rule and you can the best part of the rule is just change it however you want it okay the other thing is that uh, you have to keep in mind a travel pale uh, well it is not a compulsion but it is a good thing that if you have a rule maybe uh, you can uh, keep in mind a particular color that you want to uh, you know take along with you as per your destination again what happens here is that uh, you know you can mix and match your clothes and uh, you actually end up taking the exact colors which make you feel happy or you know maybe just carry your lucky color you know that always works for everyone so just stick to these two things maybe i and i think you would be sorted digitalize the need of the day as is this virtual session going digital is the need of the day uh, for a person like me trust me it is very difficult because a person who likes books and pen and i need to write down everything and if i'm traveling i need a map like i need a physical map in my hand i cannot just go digital but here we are learning how to be a smart traveler so we have to you know put that effort and learn things at least attempt to learn things so this is an app which is a, a word lens and it is a google application uh, the best part of the app is that uh, it um, basically works offline so you just have to download the uh, app and uh, the 
translating guide in whichever language you want. Now I have studied in uh, Maharashtra board. So the only three languages that I have learned is English, Hindi and Marathi. So there is no international language that I have ever learned in school or even attempted to learn. And but you know, we have dreams that I want to go to France, I want to go to Italy, but yes, and there the problem is that English is not their first language. So you know, communication is a problem. Um, I will just download this app. I go on the streets of France and uh, I just have to open my camera and uh, hold it in front of the signage with the text. So what the app does is that it translates it to English for me from French to English, keeping the same signage and just translates the language because it's a real time application. That's the reason how it goes and it is helpful. See. The other thing which I would definitely do is download offline maps uh, when I'm traveling. So it is easy for me to actually start directly rather than just going first, you know, uh, looking out actually where I want to go. The other thing is I will go for a travel guide for sure. And a PDF. Now, what is PDF? Now we are talking about going digital. You are, um, whatever is your travel reason, you know, maybe you're traveling for work or you're traveling for leisure. Uh, you, have, you, carry, you carry important documents with you, like your passport or maybe your health papers or uh, maybe if it's a work-related travel, you're carrying a travel book, you know. So uh, you, you don't want to take any kind of risk, you know, because uh, uh, you see, uh, unfortunately, karma do not have uh, the limitation of place karma can follow in follow you anywhere and anytime so i definitely do not want to take a chance here i will just take a scan of everything and keep a soft copy with me if you are accompanied with your family members uh, it's it's a good uh, habit to you know mail uh, the soft copies to them as well so just in case you know and please keep in mind that you forward it on a mail where you remember the password otherwise that would be the second challenge that you have to fight at that particular time. Okay, traveling with kids. Yes, I have uh, on purpose put this uh, slide in my presentation because uh, when I was the one attending the sessions with the other participants, uh, I saw that uh, we had many questions about, you know, how to do it with kids or, you know, how to go ahead or help kids to understand things of that particular session. So I thought, why not, you know? Uh, we have kids at home. Uh, I have a son who's eight year old and if I have to travel with him, uh, I definitely follow this and it has helped me a lot. So it's a personal experience that I'm talking here. So the first thing that I would do is just try to be calm, you know, just relax. Because if you go crazy, just think about what is how going to happen to your entire family because they are dependent on you. Yes, so the first thing is to take a deep breath, understand and make a checklist maybe. What I would give to my son is maybe a backpack, you know. Uh, one, uh, I am teaching him to be responsible for his own things. Uh, uh, he feels that he is important. And three, he uh, has to take care of his own belongings. So while traveling, we are also inculcating values, you know. So it's a good way where you are actually helping your kid to understand things. What would I put in the backpack? A coloring book, scribbling book, maybe a few sketch pens, colors, some games that you want to carry, some stickers. Uh, I will also put a, a snack kit, which includes uh, things like uh, uh, maybe you know, a cream biscuit or chips or jellies or uh, lollipops, you know, whatever. So that he, the key is not actually dependent on you for uh, the, you know, the least things that he can take basically on his own. One thing that I would do is, of course, download games, applications, podcasts. But of course, keep in mind that you need to download everything that is going to be useful offline because we are traveling whatever is the mode of transport you know just just look today i'm not being traveling i had such a network problem if you're traveling i do not want to take a chance definitely here other thing which i would uh, do is if i have two kids uh, i would probably dress them in a similar fashion or maybe the exact design 
if uh, it's just me and my son uh, maybe i will dress we both may dress uh, similar fashion so you know because being a parent you need to have a peripheral vision you just can't keep a tunnel vision and in the peripheral vision you are doing many things and this is one of the uh, thing that you really don't want to actually focus but you know that you know he is just right there so you can do the other things that you want to do which are more important some unspoken tips here are of course i will definitely share the itinerary uh, or my travel plans with my loved ones who are maybe who are not traveling with me you know so they know exactly which date which time where they are, they are expecting me uh, you know god forbid if something happens at least they know where you are so i will definitely do this uh, other thing is that i will uh, definitely uh, scans i have done but end of the day it is electronic so you can't really uh, rely but uh, one thing is that i will definitely take photocopies as a backup as hard copies so you can you have it handy uh, mode of transport is one of the uh, most important thing that we need to keep in mind because at times while traveling it is not just one mode of transport that you are using you are maybe going to use two or maybe three so when thinking about a bag or maybe packing your stuff or you know thinking about clothes uh, i will first thing is that i will definitely keep a check on the mode of transport a backpack uh, like i mentioned whatever is the mode of transport this all unspoken tips are common for all the mode of transport so backpack is also the one i will definitely keep uh, an extra pair of clothes uh, maybe the photocopied things in my backpack maybe some snacks that i want to be uh, use that i want to use maybe which are handy uh, and some essentials as per my requirement last but not the least be yourself because that is how you are going to enjoy the most and be respectful wherever you are traveling be respectful because if you give respect you are going to get respect and last but not the least namaste and i hope you enjoyed my presentation and uh, if there are any more questions or anything which uh, you would like to ask please uh, go ahead and uh, you know i would be happy to So Shraddha, we already have tons of questions coming. In. Okay, <laughs> you can switch right. on your camera now because I think you're not yes. sharing the screen. So switch that on. Yeah, there you are. Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, we have a lot of questions, and yes, okay. that was a very great presentation. So thank, thank you so you. much. um my first question to you and this is from Ashwin. You okay. talked about uh, travel tips for the kids. Um, yes. he wants to know any travel tips for senior citizens uh for senior citizen yes like i mentioned uh maybe if they have any health concerns i would definitely suggest that you know whatever is your recent history of health related if you have been hospitalized or if you have been taking any medications which have been recently added uh, please uh, if you cannot actually carry it with you but uh, at least like i mentioned maybe take a photocopy or uh, take a scan copy so if just in case if anything comes up uh, because uh, the medicines which we have here may be different from the place where we are traveling so at least they can check what is the content and uh, you know we can take it further from there so it is not actually from the ground zero that you have to start for your medicine. Right. Very good tip. And Reena is asking, and I think this is a similar question that Reena, Rachna, both are asking. Okay. How to? No, Rachna's question is slightly different. So, okay. Reena is asking how to pack a makeup box and other stuff like shampoo, hand sanitizer, because they add up so much volume to your bag. So, right. want to share a tip on that? Yes, right. So uh, you should definitely go for DIY. What I would mention, uh, just look out for DIY options that you have. Uh, first, even before going uh, for the DIY options, you need to first check what is the requirement of the place where you are going to, you know, enter in. Or even at Mumbai airport, like you cannot take water bottles inside. Uh, you know, once you are at the screening. Uh, level you cannot take water so uh, what i would do is maybe i would just uh, in case of water i would just carry a empty bottle and fill it ahead so same goes for cosmetics and all the other things whatever wherever there is liquid which is uh, involved you first need to check what is the regulations where you are traveling 
and accordingly you can plan and also um, uh, i would suggest that uh, you know if you are maintaining the regulations i would suggest not to keep it in your uh, checked in bag because uh, it may happen that you know they uh, uh, it, it may spill uh, during um, the walk to uh, you know when you are uh, coming to the airport it may spill on the way in the bag and you know when you are checked in your bag and they have scanned and they find something they will not get your luggage so it's better to be on the safer side if it's in your carry on bag at least if there's something you can you know chuck it off and buy a new one that is always an option but if your bag doesn't come that is much of a major problem for everyone very true and uh, these things are you have to be a little bit uh, you know careful yes. about them right. and Definitely. those little tiny travel uh, bottles pouches also you get pouches, yes the clocks and tiny bottles so just use those and yeah. uh, you don't have to carry the whole right so majorly you get this 100 ml bottles and 100 yes. ml is majorly uh, approved or accepted worldwide so those are the safest which you can use great great um next question is by rachna and then i have tons of questions that i have to ask you <laughs> yes. question. So she's asking how you pack accessories and makeup as per outfit. As per outfit, okay. So uh, maybe uh, you are if you are traveling, maybe you would like to go uh, nude makeup. You know, maybe you can just uh, pick up a lipstick which is which goes in a nude palette. Maybe it can be pink or peach, but majorly towards nude. So it it goes on all the outfits because here we are. If you are looking for a smart travel, we definitely want to think smart as well. So. Uh, as we followed the 1 2 3 4 rule or even the travel palette you also need to uh, you know think about that in makeup as well because uh, that is we want to look beautiful yes but unfortunately we are not hermione granger of harry potter so have all encompassing first otherwise i am sure girls would be the most happiest but unfortunately we do not have so we have to limit I didn't know that you were a Harry Potter fan, so I just die hard. Uh, actually, okay. I am not, but uh, my sister is, and uh, she is making me sit and watch. So <laughs> I have picked up few things from there. Good, good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, yeah, and um, I think somewhere uh, this is something that I do. I don't know if it is something uh, will come in handy. That um, the whole which we do actually, which we learn in image consulting, is to create models, and we yes. create a lot of models. Yes. So whenever I travel, I carry models, and when I'm carrying models, I don't have to pack so much. I pack right. only five or six things, and I'm done for twelve. Exactly. Right. So you know, like I will have more options to wear, right. and you know, less number of days when I can do something. So yes, even exactly. accessories are planned according to the modules. Right. So how you mix and match actually makes a lot of lot. Difference. Yes, that's the reason I mentioned that you know the travel palette and the one two three four rule. If you try to stick, I think majority of your work is done and your body is taken care of. Very true. Very true. So you can do that, or else the safest thing is just pack clothes and. Accessories together, so to, you know, yes. To In the pouches, like I had uh, the pouches, you can just yeah. use them. Yes, yes. Okay, now my question is more related to current times because we are talking about travel, but it's just a high need that we, none of us can travel, and this is exactly the travel season. This is the time everyone starts planning to just you know go everywhere right. else because summer vacation and ideally in ideal world it's yeah. summer vacation time. So my question to you is, Shraddha, that what do you think will change? Like um, you have seen airports, and you have seen people traveling, and you know, like this this crowd of people, especially when we are talking about India, there is such a so much crowd at the airport. Yes. So what do you think will change? I read somewhere that um, people were saying that planes will start uh, flying very soon, but then the middle seats will be yes. empty. Which I was like, yeah, like who wants them? <laughs> yes, <laughs> like <this. laughs> yes. So even even um, I think uh, more than the airline, I think it is our responsibility to uh, be uh, aware about what is happening around. Um, take, uh, be secure, be safe. Uh, 
have a, a presence of mind about what is happening around and as uh, even i have seen that you know airlines have come up with uh, their uh, airport to uh, aircraft uh, buses that they have uh, put across on few of the seats so they are maintaining that distance which you have to follow but uh, what i believe is that uh, it is it all depends on you how uh, careful you are like uh, i remember uh, when uh, jacqueline was taking a session she said that uh, people are not aware and in one of the uh, shopping uh, store it happened that you know uh, a gentleman was uh, really close uh, standing close and she said that you know i think it, i do not want to harm you so i think i would definitely pick that tip from jacqueline and i would do it because i want to keep myself safe first and then comes the rest so well, that's very true you know, social distancing is going to change yes. the way we have been living and um, another thing that i at least hope for is whenever i travel and especially when we go i dread those check in lines are still okay because yes. they are managed but the security See. lines are like a nightmare people don't yeah. follow lines they don't follow queues social distancing is a is thing that for us yeah so <laughs> no i think that will change what do you think definitely definitely it will change because uh, we have seen that uh, the um, CISF at the airport are constantly telling people, uh, you know, to follow queues or you know, uh, even when they are putting their bags for screening to uh, be in a line, you know. But the first thing uh, which I think we need to do is that in our mind, just we need to learn to respect privacy of others as well, whether it is your standing behind or front or you know wherever. Every person needs their space, you know. We need to keep that in mind. Only when we have that is when we can think of doing something ahead. If we do not have the base, it is very difficult to actually you know inculcate such habits in between you know within us. And I think the last point that you said respect. I yes. believe that if that comes in. all these things or problems will definitely fall in place yes okay this is a question uh, by pankaj and he's asking how do you choose the right travel insurance so basically yeah mm. what are the things that one should keep in mind okay so uh, travel insurance comes for uh, various uh, things like i mentioned maybe you can take a travel insurance for your health or maybe you can take a travel insurance for your luggage uh, etc they have many options so uh, it depends on you what you want to target uh, upon the most so uh, it is it, it all depends like through the presentation i mentioned one thing that it depends what is your need but i gave you two options like you know maybe you can go for health or maybe you can go for luggage if there's something else uh, definitely the company is the right uh, you know more from where you can get the right information but this is what i know and i would like to share yeah it's it's a very technical topic yes. actually and uh, travel insurance could actually guide a better but a, a good company which you could uh, think of is bajaj alliance for sure okay you can go because they have vast options yes yes all right Ashwin is asking, "What's the best kind of clothes for traveling on long flights? Like, what do you recommend?" Uh, first, I would recommend uh, be covered fully <laughs> because temperature is the one thing which no one can help. The crew cannot help, or and not even the crew. No one can help you on board uh, because it's a centralized uh, thing. Though we can control certain sections of the aircraft, but you cannot really go. You know. Uh, a drastic difference so uh, first thing is cover yourself completely if you are uh, traveling to a cold destination maybe you want to take the jacket with you uh, the second uh, good thing is that if you take the jacket with you is that your luggage uh, you don't have to pay extra then for the you uh, know extra luggage so yes <laughs> you can carry the jacket with you on board uh, if you are traveling to a hot destination and um, maybe you can wear something which is uh, lighter because even on the aircraft uh, it is not so hot but uh, it again varies from individual to individual you can definitely first you need to uh, be fully covered and second uh, something lighter so it is easy for you to move around because if it's a long haul flight uh, uh, you have that much of turbulence for sure right. and uh, you uh, you have to be comfortable because uh, you know um, the kind of traveling we do it is maybe back to back or you know long haul so something loose comfortable and completely covered great, great. <laughs> no i think those are really good tips and uh, even the socks and everything the ones that yes. you were get to wear um, and drink a lot of water yes definitely <laughs> yes 
but yeah, I means going to the washroom in the plane is just is it key. Okay, <laughs> let's let's not get into that. <laughs> yes. So okay. Uh I have one last question and I'm Please. then going to go into rapid fire. This is a question I don't see the person actually putting it in the co- the questions in the comment. Okay. But we were promoting it. I got it on Instagram from one of the person you know very well. Okay. And he asked that how can I ensure that every time I travel I get upgraded? So please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know this person. <laughs> Okay, yes. you know this person. I, yes. I yeah. So please give uh, the answer. Okay, <laughs> upgrades. Yes. yes. Uh, many of us uh, expect that you know I am. Uh, hopefully, I will get upgraded this time. But uh, it is all in your hands if you want to get upgraded. The first uh, thing that you have to do is that if you are a loyal traveler, uh, definitely go for the uh, you know flyer program. Right. Now definitely enroll yourself to that because you uh, the number of times you travel the points get credited and you get the first chance then to get upgraded you know right. uh, so it is all uh, you know based on the situation but that is what I can say as of now on this uh, platform today rest I can definitely answer uh, one on one yes <laughs> <laughs> okay so that was your questions from the audience and i'm sure you can take out and we have missed a few questions and while you were fixing your uh, you know um, i am so technical. sorry for that no no we actually did this little quiz at that point of time where okay. i asked everyone please share your travel blunder stories so there were so many stories coming in and i shared mine so if you, okay yeah after the session you can go in the comment and read there were a couple of bollywood filmy stories that you know oh. like, <laughs> inspired from ddlj is it no no actually no. Oh, bachpan mein like you know bra- sisters were lost uh, in jammu in in a market or oh, something so I, it's a I, good story can i add a story here sure, if, if that's okay if we have time we are actually a little bit ahead of time but go ahead <laughs> okay so uh this this just thing which gets me uh to a point where um, so when i was young i mean not young like of course i'm young now but <laughs> i mean uh, smaller so uh, we went to us you know and we were coming back so we had a flight from jfk to mumbai and um, um that time um, traveling was really uh, a stress because people have never traveled abroad and not so well versed with travels so when we were coming back you know being kids we picked up a lot of soft toys soft toys and a lot of uh, games and we had stuck it in the bag you know very nicely packed the bag and came to the airport and put it on weight over overweight paying almost double for the ticket fare so we said okay let's get everything out <laughs> let's hold the soft toys and just check in the bags then whatever is the extra will pay okay so we've done that uh, jfk everyone knows the one of the largest airport and my sister was really young then you know so um, very excited um, wanted to go in the lift first i don't know why what what came to her mind and she wanted to go in the lift first um till by the time my mother was actually counting the bags and uh, we are talking about the carry on bags here now so by the t- by the time we were just picking it up she was inside the lift and she went i don't know which floor and my mother went like she almost skipped a bit that you know oh my god my daughter is lost and that too in a land where you know i do not know anyone i do not know the language you know english was she didn't know and we were in school right. so uh, yes you know that is the reason why i had put the uh, tips for kids where both the sisters <laughs> are uh, like dressed in the same outfit yes. so you know very fair very nice very nice yes <laughs> and we got her back yeah yeah obviously and <laughs> <laughs> okay. we have to <laughs> so we need to wind up now because there are uh, still a lot of question and there's one question by Reena which you can answer later then actually a lot of people ask this that how do you keep your cash safe so mm-hmm. you have an option between rapid fire and answering this question okay maybe um, i can answer this question online Pass. later right? online so later. let's yes. do rapid so, <laughs> yes okay <laughs> All right, so rapid fire coming up. Yes. Brace yourself. I need yes. fast answer. Don't think. <laughs> first thing no. that comes in your mind. Okay. Okay. Your favorite location? Amsterdam. Favorite airline? Jet, of course. <laughs> Road trip or flight? Um, flight, definitely flight. Okay. Are you a planner or are you like a spontaneous traveler? um i would like being spontaneous travel though i didn't get a chance but yes i would love being spontaneous travel 
travel with someone or travel alone? Uh, okay, <laughs> depends on the destination, but travel alone, travel alone. Okay, worst travel etiquette you have seen or worst thing? Worst oh my God, so many. Um, Number one. The one Number that one is on uh, the top of the leaderboard. Travel etiquette, worst, okay, uh, where people feel that uh, they have uh, purchased a ticket means that they have bought the entire aircraft along with the staff and they treat them that. So, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I cannot uh, I, just. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat this one. That's actually true. <laughs> okay, and my last question to you is once this lockdown ends, where are you going? Australia for sure. Oh, <laughs> yes. Coming with you. I'm going oh, yes. to a lot of places. <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll definitely. I'm you're the best person to go around with. Very nice. I'll take you around everywhere in Australia. <laughs> At least Sydney. Rest okay. Ashwin can take you around. All right. So that was our session for today. Thank you so much, um, you. Shraddha. This was fabulous. And um, there was so much information I know. And with your experience, you can just go on and on. I know about this particular topic. Um, I would urge you to go back into the comment section reply yes, to definitely. all the people who have been watching us today. So thank you yes. once again. Thank you. And it thank was, you. Yes, please go ahead. Sorry. No, no, <laughs> it no, was no. A, a great experience having a virtual session. And thanks to you because you gave me the opportunity being the alumni of ISIM. And truly grateful. Like, truly. A pleasure. And uh, thank you for doing this and giving your time. And thank you for all to all the audiences. You were so patient and so kind. I'm just like really, really grateful to all of you for waiting, Definitely. for participating during the time when we were having technical glitches. You have been an amazing audience and please um, keep coming back. We are going to be back every Wednesday. So Knowledge Happy Hour Season 2 is going to happen every Wednesday, same time, 7.30 p.m. So don't... Uh, miss the next one. I'll see you in the next Knowledge Happy Hour. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.